Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by the girl who said you should hold Finn's bucket. It helps with bonding. So that's what I'm doing today. Should be Sophie, she's still up at the house. But I'm gonna try that and see because he definitely see every time I move he thinks I'm gonna hit him. And it could have something to do with every time he eats somebody comes along like Willow and pushes him away and maybe that happened previously because he is low on the pecking order but yeah I want him to know that we give good things I want to lead our horses with love and not hurt right that's something that we're gonna work on could also be the camera that he's confused about because I mean he's probably never had a camera in his face all the time but I don't know why because he is such a pretty boy another thing about Finn that you guys might not know is that he's really loving like when you go near him and you touch his face, like when you get close to him and, you, and you're rubbing his face, he literally tucks his body right into you and just loves to be loved. And in that regard, he's a perfect fit for us. Right, Finny Finn? You guys will probably see Sophie's video in this lesson from yesterday. It was earth shattering, life changing. Every lesson with Finn is so different. Oh, the kitty. It's the kitty in your stall. There he is. This cat is friends with all of our horses. It was the first lesson with race car driver and he found a different way for Sophie to ride to minimize the head shaking with Finn and it worked like a charm. I can't wait for you guys to see. This guy just totally proves to be amazing and I love taking him to that barn because some horses really love that big, huge, open environment and he's one. Him and Storm both love it there. All right, so some of you guys may have noticed that there's a new part of Gabby, a new appendage. Something that Gabby doesn't go anywhere without anymore, and it's not the hair, it's not the shirt, it's the headphones, wireless headphones. Yes, and my phone is in my pocket. What are you listening to? Nothing right now, because I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering about that. Sassy, sassy, sassy girl. I jump three, six in my lesson, and Storm knocks the pole down, but I don't blame him if he did it again at that height. But he would have cleared it. Yeah. Yeah, let Finn go. Finn can go first. Oh, good boy. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, Willow. Gabby does do a little tiny tune-up. She mimics our trainer so well, and I appreciate it. She, like, every once in a while, she put a lead rope on one and say, like, remember, this is what happens when I'm the boss of you, when I'm the leader of you. This is our little zoo, you guys. Our little zoo. I do not want to give the cat back. I love him. All right, so the ball. Everybody wants to know, how's the ball working? I love this ball, except for one thing. Last night they had no hay out there and this ball is completely filled still, except for the parts that were easily out. Our horses cannot get this hay out. Like there's just no way, like unless it just goes too far away from the holes, they can't get it out. So that's obviously a huge design fail. I'm gonna still try it again for another day though to see. And I still think it's beneficial. But what I do like about it is all this hay that's like left over on the ground, you can stuff it full of that so that you're not wasting so much hay. I feel sorry for Willow now, you guys, because this is the new thing. Always together. And poor Willow is always alone. No wonder she fought Finn. Three is always a crowd. Three is always a crowd. So that's the thing I don't like. I, I think like horses are happier in a herd, not just like two horses together. And it makes me feel bad that we can't put them together. When Storm comes, the he will go into the grass uh, paddock with Finn, and I don't want to separate Finn and, Will and Stella, but anyway, Stella can't go in the grass, so either I put Stella in the grass and get her a muzzle, which I've been like researching models, but you know how our weather in the winter is super extreme, our weather in the summer is super extreme too, really cold, I mean really hot, like extreme heat and humidity, we're surrounded by water where we live, so everything is really, really humid. So, I can't justify putting a muzzle on her. Um, I just can't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Like, maybe she'd be happier in a grass field with four horses and with a muzzle on than she would be in a dirt field with 
No, I don't know. Like, I'm going to see. Like, we have a muzzle. Maybe I'll try that. You guys, tell me what you think. Like, option A, her and Willow together in a dirt field where they aren't eating any grass. Or B, all of them together in a grass field and her with a muzzle so she at least feels like she's foraging and stuff all the time even though she's not getting a lot of grass. But I'm not sure about the muzzle. Like, I don't know how, how comfortable she would be with a muzzle. She's an accommodating horse though, so... Tell me what your option, what option you think would be better for her, option A or option B. It's a dark and dingy day today and I do have my riding hair on, but I am not riding. No way. After I rode the Pesofinos in a saddle that made me feel really comfortable, I noticed a difference in our saddle on Stella. Like, it's just not... It just, I, I'm like sitting perched on top of a horse, like, it's just such a bad, such a bad setup. I never want to ride again, I feel like, unless I have a good saddle. So, uh, the saddle I rode in was a Wintech, and some people are against synthetic saddles, but I'm telling you, it was the best saddle ever. So, I was going to look into a Wintech saddle, but race car driver has one. He's just waiting to get it back from his brother, and I'm going to try that saddle. Um, but yeah, I might go that way. I really want to get started trying saddles so that I can, I mean, it's life changing to have the right saddle. Gabby jumped three sections. Gabby jumped three sticks yesterday, guys. Look at the babies. Yeah. They're growing. They're all so cute. Oh, guys, um, we found out why Ruby loves the chicks. They're squeaky toys. I Oh, that. that could be it. I she does love her. Toys. She does love her squeaky toys. Get down, Missy. When I come into the house and I see all this stuff, like that little thing there and that amazing day by thing, day thing, this amazing dish of sea biscuit, I, I need to get a hook so I can hang this up because I love it. And it just makes me so amazed that people would send us such incredible stuff. Like, especially like the homemade stuff and the well thought out stuff. And obviously somebody knew we would appreciate that so much. I love it, you guys. So when you're an equestrian and the delivery man arrives, go get it, Sophie. Uh, uh Roby. Roby. Okay. Wait till he walks away. Wait till he... Is it E for Easter? Is it an Easter present? I think it's just stupid dad things. You think it's just stupid dad things? It's exciting. I'm excited, you guys. DHL. Who knows what that company is? I and Sophie went into town yesterday to pick up Ruby and I ended up buying a bunch of these little toys for Jack. He's got this one, this one. They're all super similar. And then this little one that's like a ball. And I think he'll really like them. Um, but I have to take them over, and I've been trying to take them over to him, but I have a really bad cold, and I don't obviously want to give him a cold or his parents a cold because he's only two and a half months old, and I do not want him to get sick. But the craziest thing happened, and I shared this with you guys on Instagram a couple of days ago, but um, the other day I was scrolling through YouTube, and I found out that Nick and Jesse have their own channel. They just started it. It's mostly Jesse's channel, and she's doing, like, so good. She has one, two, three... Just five videos up already, and I can't even believe it. I'm gonna show you guys. This is her channel. It's called Jessie Marie, and she has 272 subscribers already. And so it's all about her journey in motherhood. And she was a young mom. She was 18 when she had Jack. Some of you guys probably don't know that. And all about her labor and stuff. If you guys remember, I was there in the hospital waiting for Jack to be born. Um, anyway, she tells a story about her labor. And then in today's video, I'm so excited because Nick finally came in the vlog. And um, a lot of you guys know Nick. You know Nick because he um, was in our vlogs. He helped me start our vlog. And he's my son. And he is 22 years old. And he's just, I don't know, he's like has so much energy and so much happiness and so much excitement inside him and it's just really fun for me because I don't get to see them every single day because they're in town and I'm out of town but I love getting to watch him in the vlog so I wanted to share that with you guys um, just because you guys know Jesse some of you guys know Jesse and some of you guys know Je Nick some of you guys know Jesse and some of you guys know Nick and baby Jack of course so that's her channel right there Jesse Marie and we're gonna go soon as soon as I'm not sick anymore and we're gonna give Jack his presents Hi guys, and have I got a surprise for you. Look what came in the mail today. Um, this is a surprise for the girls and for myself. Got this from Hollow View, and it's a screen 
and it comes with some cool stuff. It's gonna make my life so much easier when I'm backing up the tra trailer. Show you what it is. Uh, it's a video camera system. I'm gonna hook this on my trailer. I'm gonna make a another video and I'll link it uh, later on so you can see it. The company actually sent me this camera system and I'm gonna put it on my truck and my trailer and the whole idea of this is so I can back up the trailer easier because that's what I wanted it for. It's really hard for me to back up the trailer and to see the horses when I'm driving. I'm always paranoid when I'm driving that thing I feel the trailer moving. I like to know what the heck's going on back there. It's going to make my life so much easier. The first time it took us about 15 minutes to get them on, the second time it took us about 10 minutes, that time it took us two minutes. Higher and higher, I'm gonna raise the flag. Fire will fire, send out a flare to find, give me a read. Boy. Right, brave girl. Yeah. We haven't really showed it, but this guy's got some attitude and he's a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. And he's already outgrowing the saddle, so we're going to use Stella on him next How time. He because we are trying to build him up a little. All that grain he's been and he's been getting grain. All that exercise. All that exer I kicked him. Oh, don't kick him. Just go slow. <laughs> Michael had a heart attack. He's got attitude. Dad, can you please make us move? <laughs> okay, go slow because he's scared now. What's the matter? All right, this has never happened before. We're stuck in park. We broke my horse. There we go. You can't just okay. kick him. We're around the world together. So often the way. Come again. Yep, warm yourself up, so. She's got the routine down pat. We're going away. You never know what we will find behind the line. Find behind the line. If you believe in love, give me a feeling. So every time he shakes his head, she's going to add legs so he has to step into the contact. And it's working. So every time you feel your elbows starting to get a little too far in front of your stomach, you're going to add more legs. Right? So we're going to push him into the contact so he's not able to toss his head. <coughs> you are a miracle worker. There you go. Keep going. But that is amazing. There you go. Bend those elbows. Yeah. 
Add the leg. Add the leg. Yeah, there we go. Inside leg. Inside. There. Thumbs up. Thumbs are rolling in like doggy paws. There we go. Now I want you to extend the trot, so I want you to push the trot a little bit more. Add leg, allow him to walk forward, creating a new bend. So now you don't have to use your guiding rein as your right rein, adding the right leg. Bring his nose in over his right shoulder. There we go. There we go. So your inside rein's getting that little droop in it here. Thumbs up, bring your elbows back. Add that right leg. Sam, do you see what's happening with your daughter here? More leg. There we go. Race car driver got this out of him. Keep going. Yeah, there we go. But look at how good he is, with no other horse in here. Strange place. Yeah. New bend. Keep those reins steady. Come again. So show them. So Storm or Flynn, Finn, Finn has a trick. It's called horsemanship. Horsemanship. See, he always puts himself and then he does this like weird stop. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Today is really crappy outside and I guess that's what's going to happen for the next few weeks while spring uh, showers bring the flowers and the grass everything is already starting to turn green but uh, we just got home and we're sitting in, I'm sitting in the car and I'm looking around our properties this is what I do sometimes just like because it's quiet and I can think I need some advice day fam I'm trying to think about where I'm gonna put these chickens so basically this entire property is fenced over there there's a opening that Sam closed over there with a gate but it's not a very good gate. Like chickens could get past that, no problem. So there's an opening over there that we just have to fix up. And it is completely fenced all the way around. Like the whole entire thing, except for that opening. And then up here is the driveway. And beyond the driveway, where the, where the driveway is, is not fenced. That's the only part that's not fenced. So basically the entire property is fenced except for the front so and I know and we do live on a busy road and I don't want them to go that way and I do want them to be free range I think it'd be great um so yeah I need to figure out where we would put that so right here like I told you guys before is going to be our riding arena Sam actually wants to put it over here but I won't let him because that's hay and why would you rip up hay but he says like that's so flat and already ready all we have to do is just like bring all the stuff in and make it so, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to put the chickens so that they could roam around and not be hurt. I'm also trying to figure out where I would put my garden. So at our old house, at our old, old house, we had an acre and we had chickens and we had a huge, a massive garter, garden, like a quarter of an acre of a garden. And then I had a smaller garden just for berries. And I want to definitely have a garden here. I'm just not sure where I should put that either. But I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys have any ideas, let me know what your thought process is because you guys lots of times give me good advice.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.